All right. Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you so much good vibes, okay? Um, if you found this message, it was for you, boo, okay? Um, I've been kind of like MIA because uh, I'm, you know, changing locations. Let me show you where I'm at. This is a very nice place where God wanted me to record today. So, and this is for someone your message is... He specifically said that he wanted me to do it here. Uh, you pay a karmic, you paid a karmic debt. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is just a beautiful. Look at the booty. Yes. Yeah, so this is the location where I'm residing soon. So I'm just taking advantage of the summer, you know. But also, God wants me to ground and stuff like that. But before I ground myself and everything, and I gotta go back soon. But if this message found you, I was finally able to have internet. Oh, I see a little horror shape. Oh, there's a horror shape. Yeah, somebody, you did it. Yeah, somebody paid a karmic debt. Congratulations, okay? This is your confirmation. This is something you've been feeling because you're just like, I don't know, just you're going to see things are going to speed up, okay? So Spirit wants you to be ready, okay? I, I didn't, I'm sure you are already, okay? You're someone who is very obedient, you have a lot of self-discipline, and you're working on things to be more stable and balanced, okay? And this is the perfect year for that. Uh, those who are here in the call who are doing the right thing, you know what I'm saying, okay? Now, there is someone uh, Spirit wants you to know uh, also. There is someone that has been... Um, projecting okay and there's nothing wrong with that it's just you can control what other people do but you can control what you do okay so whoever you are okay someone does not want you to be connected to god um they're being doing everything they possibly can this is why i put if you look at my angie blog post it's just funny how he i saw that in a house that message corinthians to corinthians okay uh it's in my angie blog post go check it out um and also about he was been talking minister me about friendships and stuff like that like people who fall off or things you know sometimes it's just it's just that sometimes people need to work on themselves need to heal themselves need to you know there's a lot of people who do things unconsciously because they're not awakened remember they're programmed and conditioned to do certain things that are kind of like wicked and evil and stuff like that and that's the thing is like we all have knowledge of this and wisdom but it's our choices it's our actions that dictate that so who i'm speaking here to even though you're aware of all of that like maybe your family is into like really toxic manipulative and emotionally spiritually whatever kind of way and you're not done with that some of you you're literally outgrown uh narcissists abusers uh psychopaths literally sadists like you guys have evolved that and the thing is your vibration is so high now because you have decided to forgive them not for the not like you're reconnecting only if god tells you but you're kind of like oh there's like little kids are they coming here oh so cute um yeah you, you're an inspiration okay yeah mm -hmm. for the younger generation yeah whoever this is because you pay this karmic debt uh, not only that grants you huge amount of protection you are in a different status you're in a different uh, in the spiritual realm you is different like you will see it manifest in the physical because everything that is done spiritually it manifests in the physical so this is something that you are aware but be mindful not everybody is aware of this not everybody has this knowledge and wisdom or if even if they do they're trying to be ignorant about it and still do what they feel that is the right thing even though they know it's not the right thing but again everything is duality there's no wrong or right it's always you have to look at things from a higher perspective okay and this is what christ consciousness is all about and different perspective having compassion and 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 and, and forgiveness and kindness and uh, understand that a lot of people are not in the same level as you or wherever you are uh, so be mindful of the judgment because don't judge other people for the stage that they are at. You know, there, there's people that are learning different lessons, comic lessons here. And this is why judging is useless, okay? Um, it lowers your vibration as well. Um, so this is something that you're being mindful of, whoever I'm speaking to. And this is why there is some type of karmic debt that you pay by doing that consistently. It's like, it wasn't something that you just like decided one day, like, oh, I'm just gonna stop like, you know no you actually is something gradually because there you have been you're not perfect we're not here perfect and this is what he kept saying like nobody's perfect here nobody 
this is earth school okay um yeah nobody's perfect okay we all learn through things so this is why our healing it's personal or whatever other people do it's personal so a lot of you understand whoever you are you understand like anybody ghosting you or doing something whatever that obviously didn't affect you or didn't do anything but maybe in the beginning it affects you by like the truth or knowing or something like that and you have forgiven that situation not for not for them for you right because uh, at the end of the day you're not expecting an apology uh, the ghosting and it's, it's just an example but i'm just saying like something as hurtful like silent treatment or gaslighting or something like that you understand that that's their trauma their hurt their inner child you know seeking uh, validation and also that's really you may be in a in a point some point you were in that situation too you were that person too so you have compassion towards that even though that person had no intention of having compassion or being kind to you at all or being you know they just want to be disrespectful and they want to hurt you and they want to induce pain so this is why you have to understand you have to see the darkness because you are the light so you understand that energy because you're being consistent by standing to your values your integrity you're honest okay and this intention of of consistently doing this and not judge other people and see things from a different perspective you don't take revenge or want to do something no you just literally you're one of those persons that you're like okay that's who you are okay i surrender to god god has seen that that you even people who try to do horrible things okay because there is a reason karmic debt is not easy to pay, especially when you have the whole environment and everything against you and wanting you to do something completely different. Uh, or not completely different, but like do the same thing as they are doing to be validated or accepted in their group or their community or something like that. God is proud of you for do not doing that. Okay? Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, we understand you're someone who understands that uh, again this is not for everybody but those who are listening if you don't understand what this means this is what whatever whoever this is the message is is to teach you um, inspire you as well that when you do good deeds on a consistent basis when you are working on your mission or working you know you know be obedient um, this is what happens God can clear our debt for you can clear our certain things for you but this is for a specific person who doesn't do any manipulation though let's reframe that because people who do spiritual manipulation emotional they do any wicked stuff to control someone or to create some type of way to bind or to distort someone's free will that's a different karma okay this is not who i'm talking to and if you are that go talk to god and you need healing um a lot of you this is who you're dealing with you're dealing with someone like that that wants to control you and wants to um not first of all <laughs> they are prone to like they don't want you to pay this karmic debt but again it's a regular be to god it's already been paid it's already paid it's already you already did it it's done already so this person is kind of if they're watching they're gonna realize that all their attempts all their uh, attacks all their psychic attacks spiritual attacks whatever they're doing to make you like i don't know they just have this agenda of making like they don't want you to think that god can grant wishes for you or can or can be with you or they want you to doubt okay and that's one thing the enemy is trying to do and don't let it okay don't lose hope don't lose faith because when you don't have faith you have nothing right and also that too when you don't act on that faith as well because you're faithful you're you're loyal to god you're you know what i'm saying because god is first for all of you god is first okay in this wicked world that we're here to learn in earth school you need to build a relationship and that is a consistent thing it's not something that you do one day and then the next day you do something else or you do something whatever like we're here to learn to build a relationship with him not only with him because when you build a relationship with him you also build a relationship with nature nature grants you things okay it's crazy i manifested to move here <laughs> believe it or not but I did it like unconsciously, like I was just like, I wish I could, you know, and me coming here consistently praying and like telling God, like how I, you know, the community and stuff, like, I don't know, just talking to him and something happened, not what I was expecting, but you know, God tests your faith in certain situations, in certain lessons, that's the whole point. And then he will see like, okay, even through tribulation and stuff like that, will you let go of me? Will you not, you know what I'm saying? 
and if you are obedient and consistent, he rewards you for that. Okay? So it's not, you know, but don't do it because you're expecting a reward or something like that. Like, that's not the point, you know? Conditional love doesn't have conditions. So whoever this is, whoever paid this karma debt, you understand this. You understand unconditional love. You understand empathy. You understand integrity. You understand authenticity. You are authentic. You don't care about what other people think and their validations and the, I don't know if you have a platform. You don't give a fuck about the views, the likes or whatever. No, you don't care. So you are kind of like a threat to all these apps, okay? FYI, you do have enemies now and um, because you're independent, okay? You're someone who um, stand up for yourself. Uh, you have a voice and it's a beautiful voice. So continue speaking, continue talking. Whatever it is that you're doing that help you pay this karmic debt is important, okay? Some of you, you have paid also the karmic debt by following your mission, your purpose. You're following the, 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 the assignment. You know your assignment. You know what you're here for. You're conscious and that's why you're authentic and that's why you have a lot of people who your light um, irritates their demons, okay? But that's another message that I'm going to go towards you. But whoever this is, congratulations. Ah, I love it today. The universe is so proud of you, boo. You're going to be a beautiful example for the world. Um, and I'm glad that I'm able to give you this confirmation for you. You already know this. You just, you're really humble and you have a very pure heart. Um, just keep it like that, okay? Even when you're going to this ascension as well. There is, I know it is very difficult. It's hard to see a good thing from all the chaos. Because I'm, who I'm speaking, you are going through some serious spiritual warfare, right? Yeah. Um, you understand this situation, but you're doing it with grace. You're doing it with beauty. You're doing it with kindness. You're helping your community as well. There's something that you're doing behind the ground to help people. Um, it's beautiful. And obviously the enemy doesn't want you to inspire people to do the same or to, you know, to do better or like, I don't know, to do better than you. Because some of like whoever I'm speaking, you're not competitive. It's so bubbly. Ugh. I want to stay in your energy <laughs> you're not competitive you don't compare yourself to anybody you know that you are have your laser focus um this is why when this if you see it you're gonna be like oh really like good things are happening to me and then yeah it is okay i love you guys i gotta go but good luck good job yay bye